This is the day that the Lord has made. I say rejoice and be glad in it. Because God is gracious, God is loving, and God is kind. You understand? And this is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Because he got a lot of blessings to give you in your journey with his son, Jesus Christ, your Savior. And the blessings come from God through his son, Jesus Christ. But today, I want you to know something, and I hope that you can grab a hold to it and have it in your mind and in your heart and understand this, that you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. You must understand that you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. And because you are a new creation in Christ Jesus, let's give Jesus some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give the Heavenly Father some praise. Thank you, God. Let's give the Holy Spirit some praise. And thank you for your spirit that now dwells in me. And let's give his words some praise. And I thank you for your words that help me to live in this new creation that you have made me in your son, Jesus Christ. I want you to know all things have passed away. Behold, all things has become new. See, believers in Jesus are new creations in Christ Jesus right now. And you need to understand that you new believers, the one that just started believing in Jesus Christ. You need to know that you are not who you used to be anymore. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus right now. Not when you get to heaven, but right now. Understand that and start receiving that within yourself and telling yourself over and over, I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Get that in your heart. Get that in your mind. Get that in your soul. Let it be at the top of your mind. Let it be in the core of your mind that you are a new creation. And don't let nobody tell me you are who you used to be because you are not anymore. So you understand that you are not who you used to be anymore. You are not who you used to be anymore. I want you to understand that you believers, you beginning believers, you believers that's been around for a while, you need to understand that you are not who you used to be anymore. So therefore, why are you living like you used to when you say that you are a Jesus and you say that you are a new person in Christ Jesus, that you are a new creation in Christ Jesus, but you're still having those same old conducts? You're still having the same old way of thinking. You still have the same old way of doing things. So are you really a new creation in Christ Jesus? Are you really a new creation in Christ Jesus? I can't tell you that's between you and God. That's between you and Jesus. All I can do is pass you the word and let you know that you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. And when you become a new creation in Christ Jesus, you walk in a newness of life. You don't walk the life that you used to live in, Mom. You change your life. You turn around. The things that you used to do, you don't do no more. If you used to be a cheater, you don't cheat no more. If you live the life of dishonesty, now you live a life of honesty. If you used to be a fornicator, you stop it. If you used to be an adulteress, you leave it alone. If you used to be a drunker and a get high, you stop all that because now you are new in Christ Jesus. And when you become new in Christ Jesus, you are created for good works in Christ Jesus. Understand that through God for good works. So therefore, the old works that you used to do, you don't do no more. The things that used to tear you up, you cut it loose, and now you live in this new life in Christ Jesus, and you see your life growing and prospering in areas that you thought it never could do, because now you got a new mindset that came through Christ Jesus that have you do things differently. See, you have to understand that you've been born again, and once you're born 
born again, that means you take on a new nature that comes through the power of the Holy Spirit. So now you have this new nature that's living in you, that's taking over your imagination, that's taking over your reasoning, that's taking over your thinking so that you can think better now. So that you can think righteous, so you can meditate on doing righteous, so you can imagine, so you can imagine doing things that are right instead of doing things that are evil. You plot to do right instead of plotting to do evil. See, when you had your old nature, then you understand me. You was plotting on how to do evil, but now that you have this new nature in you that give you a new mindset, now you plot on how to do good. So you take it, and now what you used to do was evil, now that you have a new heart, now that you have a new heart, that means that you have new desires, and you get your new heart through your new creation that came through Christ Jesus. And since now that you got this new heart in you, and you got these new desires in you, the evil that you used to desire, hear me, the evil that you used to desire, you don't desire no more because you desire to live to please God. So therefore, if you desire to live in his righteousness and his wisdom that comes through his son, Jesus Christ. Now, you don't desire to live like you used to anymore. Sometimes you have to hear me. Sometimes you might slip and do the things that you don't want to do, but that's okay. Just through the desires of your real heart that's in Christ Jesus, even though you might falter every now and then. Because you got a loving and a caring God that will give you the power to live above the things that you don't want to do as he worked on your transformation. So you have to understand that you're going through a process of transforming. You're going through a process of transforming even though you are a new creation and old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new and the newness is the new nature that you have in you that now came through Jesus Christ. And while you're growing in Jesus Christ, that means then you have to walk in the newness of life that he has given you. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So when you start living in the newness of life that he has started giving you and then your new nature will grow more and more and more and your slips will be less and less and less because you will be influenced more and more by the Holy Spirit that now dwell in you that is the nature of God that's now living in you and I can say thank you Jesus and I can say bless them Lord Jesus that they know now that they are a new creation in Christ Jesus the old things have passed away behold all things has become new they're not a liar and a cheater and a drunker anymore Heavenly Father let them know this sometimes deception will try to fool you and make you think that you're not in a that you're not that you are not really recreated in Christ Jesus it'll come in sometime your mind will try to fool you some people say it's the devil influence that try to fool you but I think it's your old way of thinking that tries to fool you so therefore you know we have to work on eliminating that old way of thinking and put on the mind of Christ Jesus and start thinking like the Holy Spirit huh? and start thinking like the Word of God. In order to think like the Holy Spirit, only to think like the Word of God, you got to get involved into the Word of God. Huh? You got to have a relationship of prayer with God and let God matter and let God speak back to you. So otherwise, I'm telling you, sometimes when you go to prayer, sit back and listen to what God is telling you. Sit back and listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling you because it's going to teach you because it's going to keep you on the right track once you get to recognizing your evil thoughts from your righteous thoughts. See, once you start recognizing your evil thoughts from your righteous thoughts, then you can walk in your new creation that God have that God has given you through his son Jesus Christ. See, all things really have passed away. And understand, really, all things have become new. But it's still a transforming part that takes place in your life where you got to build at, where you got to grow at. You know, so therefore, 
I pray today that you understand this and that you start growing in the Lord Jesus, that you start growing in your new creation that comes through Christ Jesus. See, you, because you know you have been born again. You have been born again. And you got to grab a hold of that and know that you have been born again. But none of this work. Understand me. None of this will work if you don't have a faith. None of this will work if you don't have the faith. See, you believe and you receive, but now do you have the faith in Jesus to live it out? Do you have your faith in Jesus to live it out? See, you got to have faith. And when you're dealing with faith, that means you got to have confidence in Jesus. That means you got to trust in Jesus. That means you got to rely in Jesus. That means you got to commit to Jesus and that means you got to believe in Jesus so with that being said I will ask you again do you have faith in Jesus do you have faith in Jesus do you but do you have faith in your new creation that came through Jesus do you have faith that you have a new creation and you are not who you used to be anymore and that you are totally different and have you did like he said in Romans 12 have you start renewing your mind in the new creation that you are in Christ Jesus and have you started living in the newness of life that you have in Christ Jesus or are you still stuck in your old life and don't want to let it go and you'd rather just stay in bondage than to live in the freedom that comes through Christ Jesus that will take you out of the bondage that holds you down. But if you're really living in the new creation that you have in Christ Jesus, you have been released from that bondage that was destroying you because now you have been set free by Jesus Christ to live on the Christ. Paul said, for the life I now live, I live unto Christ and not unto myself. He said, if I to live, he said, the, Christ, the life I now live, I live unto Christ. I live unto the Son of God. So, are you living unto the Son of God? That's how your new creation works in your life. Are you seeking ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness? That's how this new creation lives in your life. And then the blessings follow it. And then the blessings follow it. You want to be blessed by God, line up with God, accept this new creation, this new person that you are in Christ Jesus, and live out this new person in Christ Jesus. So you are around, you know, let's think about this old person. Sometimes you got these old people. I know a lot of people like to fight. So I'm going to use that as an example this time, you understand. You know, the Bible don't want us going around fighting people and all that type of stuff, you understand? But you find yourself always in a fight, and you saying, I'm serving God. You're saying, I'm a new person in Christ Jesus, but you're always out there fighting. Why are you always out there fighting? Because you are not living in the new creation that you say you have from Christ Jesus. You're living in that old bondage that keeps you in trouble and that keeps you in trouble because you are not living in the freedom that you have received from Jesus Christ that's in your new creation. See, once you learn how to live in the freedom that he has given you in your new creation, then you will be released from doing them dumb things that keeps you in trouble. Them things that keep you broke. How do you talk about prosperity? You can't get no prosperity in your new creation because you're still living in your damnation. So you understand, uh, he had delivered you and made you a new person. You might have had a gambling habit. You understand me? You might have had a gambling habit. I'm not, I don't know. But you're out there trying to shoot dice, play cards, or whatever you're trying to do. Going to the casino, whether it's legal or illegal, it's got some form of gambling on a football game or whatever it may be and you keep losing your money and you're broke all the time and you're wondering why God ain't blessing you and you say God why you ain't blessing me I'm a new person in your son Jesus Christ and God look down at you and he tell you when is you going to walk in the newness of your life when is you going to walk in the newness of your life see you're a new creation 
only when you're walking in the newness of your life. If you're still living by the oldness of your life, you can expect damnation to still be in your life. But if you want abundance in your life, in this newness of your life, then you got to live in this newness of your life that you got in Christ Jesus. You got to get away from them things that, that, that holds you down and get with the things that build you up. And what builds you up is following Jesus. What builds you up is living out that new person that you are in Christ Jesus. But you can go around, you understand, uh, you can go around and use deception and lying, and you're saying, well, I'm new in Christ Jesus, but your actions don't say that you're new in Christ Jesus because you're still going out there and done doing stuff. You're still going out there lying. You're still going out there cheating. Still thinking you can out slick people. All these crazy things, and you're wondering why. You still having problems. You wondering why every time I turn around I'm gonna fight. Because you're still living in anger. You still living in hatred. You ain't you ain't living in love like the like like you're supposed to. As far as a new creation in Christ Jesus, but when you have a new creation in Christ Jesus, then you live in love. You live in kindness. You live in respect. You live to be peaceful with all people. Learn the word of God. Learn the word of the new covenant. Let it be. Let it reside in your heart. See, love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not brag. Love is not proud, rude, self-seeking, or easily anger. So you got to understand, that's the new you in Christ Jesus. For the proofs of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, meek, and temperance. Temperance deal with self-control. But if you're always living a life out of control, that means you don't understand the new creation, the, the new creation that you're in in Christ Jesus because you're still doing dumb stuff. You're still hurting yourself. And you're wondering why you don't have no prosperity in your life. First of all, you ain't got no prosperity in your spirit. So are you really a new creation in Christ Jesus? You know, there's an old saying, you try to do the same thing over and over and over and over and look for a different result. They say that's insane. And I just happen to say that I agree with them. 100%. Because if you keep trying to do the same thing over and over and get a different result, you're wasting your time. And it is insane and it's stupid and it's done. But when you know, and you know you know that you are a new person in Christ Jesus, and you know you know that you are a new cre a creation in Christ Jesus, I know that I know by the Holy Spirit you're going to have different desires. You're going to have different wills. You're not going to continue in the life that's destroying you. You're going to get out of it and get in a life that's prospering you through the Son, Jesus Christ. Because once you get born again and that Holy Spirit get to working in your life, and your thinking get to changing and your reasoning get to changing and your imagination get to changing and your desires get to changing you're not going to do what you used to do so when you talk about being a new creation in Christ Jesus and if you ain't changing the only person that you're fooling you understand you ain't fooling God and you ain't fooling me and you ain't fooling nobody else the only person you're fooling is yourself and you caught up in your own self deception and I hate to tell you, but you're not a new creation in Christ Jesus. Because when you become a new creation in Christ Jesus, you will see transformation taking place in your thinking. You will see transformation taking place in your conducts. You will see transformation taking place in the way that you do things. You will see the transformation. Ain't nobody got to tell you. But if you see yourself, but look in the mirror, but if you see yourself still doing the same things that you used to do, and you talking about you a new creation, I have to tell you something. Are you really a new creation in Christ Jesus? Are you? That's something you got to ask yourself. And that's something that you got to find out by yourself. God cannot be mine. But today, if you are a new creation in Christ Jesus, I'm happy for you. And continue to grow in your transformation. Continue to renew your mind. Continue to walk in the newness of your life. Continue, continue to do the will of God and live by, 
and continue to live by the faith that you have in, in Jesus Christ and just let your light shine before all men because you got because you was created for good works by G, by God through Jesus Christ. So continue in your good works and continue to grow in the Holy Spirit. Continue to grow in the word of God and, and know for yourself today that you are a new creation in Christ Jesus and can't nobody change it. And continue to grow in the new person that you are in. The new person you are in Christ Jesus. Continue to grow in that area. Let your mind just grow. Let your heart just grow. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and you will continue to grow. Keep your faith in Jesus. Keep your prayer life. Keep your praise life. Listen to some good Christian song that can encourage you to grow in the spirit. Understand it. Get you some key verses that can help you in your life to continue to walk in the newness of life that comes through Christ Jesus. But I do have a few Bible verses that I'm going to give you, that I want you to look through, that you're going to understand. Matter of fact, I'll read them right quick. And, it talk, and it's going to talk about a little bit what I spoke on. 2 Corinthians 5.17. Let's go with that one first. 2 Corinthians 5.17. Uh, Therefore, if as many man be in Christ, he is a new creature. He is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I spoke on that. So I want you to know. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Now go with me to Galatians 2.20. You can take time out and go meditate on these verses. But because of time, I'm not going to really go into explanation. I'm just going to kind of read them to you. And then you can go back and look them up yourself. And spend some time in them and meditate on them. Galatians 2.20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. This is Paul talking. Yet not I, but he said, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. So he's saying that Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, the Christ of life now live in my human flesh, my human body. I live by the faith of the Son of God. So otherwise, he's saying he put his faith in the faith of the Son of God. He lived by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me, who sacrificed for me. So you got to live by putting your faith in the faith of God. You got to live by putting your faith in the faith of Christ, the Son of God. So you got to put your faith by faith. Faith by faith. Put your faith in the faith of God. Put your faith in the faith of Jesus. And you'll be all right. Then you go by Ephesians 2.10. Ephesians 2.10. Another verse. Like I said, I want y'all to take time out and go back and read these verses and everything. And let them be a blessing for you. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. See, we are his creation created in Christ Jesus on two good works. So when you be, when you so when you become his workmanship, or you when you become his new creation, it's for good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them, that we should live in them. So you know, we are supposed to be be all about good works. I spoke on that. Everything that I spoke on is going to relate to these verses that I'm giving you to support what I spoke on in the name of Jesus. Cuz I don't want to give you nothing that's fake. I don't want to give you nothing that's shaking. Everything that I give you, I want you to know that it comes from the word of God. Now we go to Romans 6. Then here in Romans 6, verses 1 and 2, and it says this right here. What should we say then? Should we continue in sin that grace may abide or grace may increase? Take this, take this second verse. Understand it. God forbid, how should we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? So you got to understand uh, in your new creation, you got to understand that you are dead to sin. Uh, your sinful nature, you are dead to it now. You have a new nature through the Holy Spirit that now dead in you. You are dead to sin. So if you are dead to sin, how can you continue living sinning? How can you continue to live in 
sinning. How can you continue to live in sin? How can you continue to live to sin if you are dead to sin? So if you're a new creation in Christ Jesus, therefore you shouldn't be living to sin because you are dead to sin. You should be living to righteousness. You should be living to holiness. You should be living to sanctification. This is what your life should be based upon, doing the right things according to God now because you are no longer living you you are no longer empowered by sin because you are dead to sin when you are dead to sin what you're saying is that sin don't have no power over me now my power and my influence is by the power of the holy spirit that now lives in me which is my new nature in the name of jesus and then in romans 6 4 it says walk in the newness of life Rom romans 6 4 said therefore if we are buried with him by baptism into his death. By his death, we've been baptized with him. For baptism into his death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory or the power of the Father, even so we also should walk in a newness of life. So if you are a new creation in Christ Jesus, that means you should be living in a newness of life. That means you shouldn't be living like you used to be living. That means you shouldn't be doing the evil that you used to do. Now you should be doing the righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ. Now you should be doing the will of God. Uh, now you should be honoring God in everything that you do. Whatever you do, do it on to the Lord. Do it on wholeheartedly. Now you should be honoring your mother and your father. You should be living and respecting them. Your husband and your wife should be living in harmony with each other, working together with one another. You understand? You should be trying to live peaceful with all people. Your love should be sincere and not fake. I'm just telling you some of the Bible verses that I know that works in my life, you know, then you shouldn't be walking around here. You should be able to overcome evil with good, not evil with evil. See, you understand? See, the old man do evil for evil, but the new man overcome evil with good. Uh, you should be able to get angry, but you should be able to release it. He said, get angry, but sin not. So even though you get angry, you shouldn't live, you still shouldn't sin because of the new creation that you are in Christ Jesus. And then he said, don't go to sleep on your anger. So you understand and don't let that anger hold you. He said, well, okay, then now he's telling you, you understand. Understand me? I'm just going through this real quick. You should be living in forgiveness. So you should be forgiving one another. You should be living a life of forgiveness. You should be giving other, other, other people for the wrong that they have done to you. You got to understand that in the name of Jesus, that the power of the Holy Spirit works in your life because you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Get this down, pack inside of you, in your mind, and in your harder. You understand? And you know that you're supposed to be renewing your mind inside the word of God. You understand? And you know how you're supposed to be living. He said, get angry and sin not again. He said, be slow to speak, quick to listen to slow to anger. So he's telling you sometimes you just got to sit back and pay attention. In the name of Jesus. He said, rejoice when you go through tribulations and trials and things. Don't be sitting around here getting frustrated and miserable and upset and destroying yourself. And I'm going to call it short right there because I just ran a lot down to you to let you know what you are in your new creation that comes through Christ Jesus because you are new in the name of Jesus and if you are really a new person in Christ Jesus I said you ought to say thank you Jesus because if it wasn't for him you wouldn't be that new person you are if he wouldn't have passed the test you would have been hit you would have been destroyed but thanks be to God because of Jesus you can go to heaven you have heaven you're going to have a new heaven and your new hurt and you're going to spend eternity with the father and the son in the name of jesus be blessed i hope this message touch you and remember who you are in christ jesus old things have passed away behold all things has come new i hope this message touched you and have a lovely week as you know, I'm on YouTube. Under, my channel is Thomas Patterson. I also do some tweeting too. Feel free to check me out on all of it. Be free to share these videos or these messages with your friends on your page or whatever, on Facebook, whatever. Share it. Be a blessing to them because I know that God is blessing you. Why not you bless them? And have a wonderful week. And may God continue to bless you. And I'm sorry that I didn't make it last week. But my Lord is still on my side. And my Lord is still blessing me. In the name of Jesus, be blessed.